Exploring strange new worlds provides insight into how NASA scientists explore our solar system. You allow your visitors to become teams of scientists living on a planet orbiting a distant sun. They are on the threshold of exploring their own planetary system for the first time. For this activity, you get to make a planet, or set of planets, ahead of time. The base on which you build your planet could be this ball, a cantaloupe, or a ball of clay. If it's really cold, you could even use a snowball. It could be something as simple as a balloon, or a beach ball, a gas giant. Decorate your planet. Here are some ideas. Paint land and water, or glue sand on it to represent deserts. Pass around the communications and exploration handout to your visitors and start by examining how we explore. Today, you will become scientists exploring strange new worlds. See them out there? Okay. Let's take a look at this handout that we have and what are some of the ways that NASA uses to explore our solar system? Flyby. Flyby. Orbiter. Probe, orbiter, good, yeah. Well, let's quickly demonstrate some of these methods. Let's, first of all, roll up your handout to turn it into a viewer. I know it's a little windy today. And we're going to use Vivian and pretend that she is a planet. All right? So first, the thing, thing we do is, from Earth, we take our telescopes and take a look at planet Vivian. All right. Then you might plan missions to send to the planet to explore it more thoroughly. First, you might send a flyby mission. Flyby missions, like the Voyager spacecraft, are used to explore two or more planets to get a close but quick look at each planet so that you can plan additional missions. Then you might decide to go send an orbiter which gives you a lot more detail about a particular planet. Okay? Like the Cassini mission at Saturn. And sometimes you might want to send the orbiter to decide where are we going to land our next mission. Okay? Good. Good. Let's see. Then you might use a probe, like the Huygens at Saturn's moon Titan. So a probe which parachuted through Titan's atmosphere to find out what the atmosphere was made from. You might also have a different kind of probe which actually comes and hits the object like Deep Impact did at, uh, at a comet to eject some of the material to find out, what, to analyze it, to find out what it's made of. Then you have landers and rovers, okay, little landers and rovers, which, which land on the planet and might wander around a little bit to find a lot more about one tiny specific area of the planet. Rovers don't go all over the planet. They can only go in a very small area, okay? Then there are sample returns, like the Stardust mission, which collected material from a comet and returned it to Earth. So, uh, we're going to take some sample. And so here's the sample from that planet, returned to Earth so scientists can analyze it. Ooh, okay. Now that you've been trained as planetary scientists, imagine we're scientists living on a planet orbiting a distant star. Like Earth's sun, our parent star has other planets around it. But we haven't explored them yet. Your job as scientists is to decide which of these methods you want to use to explore the planets in our system. Okay? Let's take a look at the rules on the back of the sheet. Now choose who on your team will become the first spacecraft. You have 20 minutes to do your missions, but we're pretending that that's 20 years, okay? And your time starts now. Okay, go. Wow. Fuzzy. What do you think this one is? 
color Green I want. Green is good. Green is light. Back there and get some sample. Okay, yeah. time's up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> now it's time for each mission to report what was discovered and to tell us what future missions you'd like to send. Well, you guys did great. I think you all deserve funding for more missions. Let's give yourselves a hand. Yeah. yeah.